Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about poikilothermy, a term which you might be aware of. Poikilothermy is a thermoregulatory process that allows the animal body to maintain its core internal temperature. The animals which tend to regulate their body via poikilothermy are termed as poikilotherms. In poikilothermy, internal temperature varies or we can say fluctuates with respect to variation in ambient environmental temperature. Poikilothermy process can be achieved by two modes that include ectothermy and endothermy. But it must be noted that it's mostly ectothermic animals which exhibit this poikilothermy and there are few animals which are endothermic poikilothermus like we have naked mole rat the only endothermic poikilotherm animal which is a mammal. If we see two Thermos, ectotherms and endotherms. Ectotherms, we always make it sure that ectotherms are cold blooded animals. And endotherms, we know they maintain their internal body temperature by their metabolic processes mostly. It's mostly ectotherms, which are commonly called cold blooded animals or poikilotherms, and if their body temperature adapts with environment. Fishes, few amphibians, and majority of reptiles rely on poikilothermy. And we have only one mammal called naked mole rat which exhibits this thermoregulation process. Basically these all thermoregulation processes mechanisms are designed to return your body to homeostasis. Now let's see what is the mechanism behind poikilothermy. Poikilothermy is achieved through five known mechanisms of which we see the first easier one is basking in the sun. In this process, that is the basking in the sun, the animal bask in the morning sun to raise their internal body temperature and stimulate their metabolism. They position their body to soak up maximum sunlight, separating themselves to create more surface area. And this basking in the sun is mostly seen in lizards. Second one is the melanistic polymorphism. In reptiles, the body color can have direct effects on numerous aspects of their existence such as thermoregulation or prey predator interactions. Darker melanic individuals show lower skin reflectance and consequently heat up more rapidly and maintain optimal body temperature more easily than lighter colored individuals. Third mechanism include retimerably. A retimerably is a complex of arteries and veins lying very close to each other and from these structures they are able to regulate the body temperature by exchanging the heat from these structures and this thermoregulation occurs mostly in fishes like we have seen in bluefin tuna for example nearly all of the metabolic heat in this venous blood is transported to the arterial blood thus conserving muscle temperature that heat exchange approves almost 99 percent efficiency another one is gigantothermy gigantothermy is a phenomenon found in some ectothermic animals in which they are able to maintain a constant relatively high body temperature than smaller animals by virtue of their smaller surface area to volume ratio. So basically we see here the animals use the geometric phenomena to thermoregulate their bodies and this gigantothermy is mostly seen in turtles. And finally we see there is a molecular approach towards poikilothermy also which include antifreeze proteins. These antifreeze proteins they are protein bound ice crystals that accumulate inside their bodies, inside the bodies of animals and resist freezing thereby regulating the temperature in some animals also. And this type of thermoregulation is mostly found in some fishes. All these poikilothermy mechanisms like basking in the sun, melanistic polymorphism and others will be discussed in separate video. So this was all about poikilothermy. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.